I think something that we didn't even talk about yet is that ABBA, you have a dispel versus a Batrider Lasso. This is a hero that just will not get lassoed ever in this game. If you try to lasso one of his friends, he'll just save them with his shield. I mean, this was a really nice setup. And even though I do like the fact that we are switching the gyro to carry, I think gyro is a hero in this patch that can itemize for every situation. Even in this game, you're able to go for your crit stick, your Agonim Scepter. As you said, Satanic is fantastic in this game. Scotty, very good in this one too. Maybe even a Disperser to help you kite away from this timing of the Abaddon. But uh, even with all that, even with the BKB also in the mix, I think that you have to be six slotted on this gyro in order to answer every single hero in this game because your heroes on your side don't. I don't think Tiny's going to be bursting this Chen. I think he's maybe able to burst the Hoodwink, but then he's going to get jumped on. And your Batrider can't save you. Your Razor needs BKB to get on in. Like, I don't see this draft really working for Midas Club. Yep. Only problem here is like. You need to jump the Lash when he goes for a tower, but that mm -hmm. means the uh, you need to go on the Abaddon uh, at the same time because yep. you can't lasso the, the Lash with the Abaddon close. You can mm -hmm. try to toss the Lash oh, to the back line, okay. stun everyone yeah. with the techies. You have a lot of ways to defend towers on this Midas Club draft. I don't think it's a one-sided match if you are considering the drafts. I think it's like 60 to 40 on Heroic side. I would agree towards that, yeah. I think in my in my bias towards the left track hero, I might give it slightly more, but I think 60 40 is fair. Lanes mean a lot. And I know you already harped on this too, but like lanes mean so much in this one. Uh, if the Razor can get off the ground quickly, Yasha BKB, it's going to be hard. It actually will be hard to kill them because uh, BKB does so much for your game in this one. No more damage from the Timber Saw, no more damage from the left track. So I do, I do like everything that they have for the Razor Hero. I just don't know how they enable him so hard. Yeah, I don't think they can destroy this Razor on the lane with Chen Abaddon. Mm. It's like Penitence kind of huge. a passive lane. If you get early boots on the Razor, I think you can always outrun them, mm. them on the lane. You just need to make sure you get some CS. I don't know if they plan on taking the Razor Tower, bringing the Lash and the Chan. Yeah. Totally that good. would be terrible for FCR. <laughs> yeah. I think so, a yeah. silver lining as well is that like the BKB, BKB timings are so huge on Midas Club. Uh, Lash Rack won't do any damage to you. Timbers won't do any damage to you. You can get on top of the Chan creeps consistently. But, like That will work for them. But getting there will be slightly difficult, I think. How's this lane go? I mean, I feel like Leshrac completely dominates a Tiny in this lane. I don't see him destroying the Tiny, but I, I see him with an advantage here. That's for sure. Mm. Thankfully, nobody got first blood, so it's not a Leshrac coming out with bottle. <laughs> I think yeah. the last time we saw this matchup, it was with like a huge first blood on the Leshrac, which just made it like really hard for them to play. But uh, really well done from Analog actually getting that range creep versus the Tiny. That's sometimes like where the lane starts to go horribly for. Uh, for either side, so well done. Oh my goodness. You The Lightning actually got three of those CS and he was able to harass each time with it. Incredibly well done from Analog. Skill matters a lot on this lane. You see Analog making slightly better decisions on the first wave. Mm -hmm. He Look pushed at him, it yeah. onto oh the Tiny so he can just right click him a lot. He doesn't have <gasps> no. bottle yet, so... Oh my goodness. No! What happened? Oh, that's rough. The uh, the Avalanche missed the range creep. He didn't get the CS on it. He also uh, got a deny on one of the melee creeps there as the left track. I mean, that's maybe one of the best lanes I've ever seen from a left track level one. I was I was watching the career kill. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a fiend my for the bad. mid lane. Every time that I do my own cast on, on my channel, I'm like constantly just staring at the mid lane for a while. It's just so fascinating to me since I don't play the lane. I think it's really hard. Yeah, but you're you're right. Hmm. I'm interested in the skill, but actually, what what is Gustavo? What did he go for? Gustavo. 
Ah, so he... Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I think this is a really hard lane to go for that uh, second level flat cannon. And I dragged my observer away as they killed SDR. That's my bad, guys. My bad. Uh, they do get the kill on KJ. That's going to do wonders for the SDR game because that shouldn't happen. I mean, Razor Techies is a very strong lane. I think Chen was just overconfident in there. Mm. He should just wait for level 3, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. As long as Abaddon is farming, it's okay, but he's, he's got 7 yeah. CS, not the best at the moment. 5 denies Razor has on FCR. 5 denies, yeah. Holy moly. Wow, that's... Right, well done from FCR, that's my boy, but... Damn, that's crazy. You can't underestimate this player. Mm-mm. Oh, uh, but yeah, the, but what I wanted to say about the gyro is that uh, oftentimes that level one and flat cannon uh, will just get your range creeps denied. So the fact that he went for it instead of like the uh, the rockets or even, I mean, yeah, just the rocket is kind of insane to me versus the timber lane. Yeah, it always depends on the read you have for the lane. If you if you feel like you need to prevent them from getting early CS, mm. so just push them away with the flak. Sometimes you don't get some CS yourself doing that, but it's okay if that that's part of your plan. Mm, that's true. God's plan. God's plan. I do like the uh, the two points in the rocket barrage. That definitely was going to happen no matter what, and is absolutely the right play. There's just so much damage at level two with that spike, and you love getting on top of the timber saw and just melting that out. And what the flat cannon will now enable is that you can clear these waves. And then you can uh, just get the free rocket barrage on someone. An FCR. Man, yeah, putting in a lot of work in this lane on top. Holy. Yeah, he's doing a lot with the Razor. He doesn't have boots yet, I think, right? No. Yeah, he doesn't yeah have he's just yet. going for the Falcon Blade, which is a, a really good build, right? I mean, it's going to work. Yeah. He's finishing the, the boots first, which is coming on the career. Mm. He needs to be able to outrun them. Then uh, you're yeah. never dying on this lane. True. Absolutely true. And he has the uh, the Wraith Band as well for that extra physical. A lot of what the ABBA and the Chen will do early on is all physical damage, so nice pickup for him as well. Oh, KJ has to, has to be careful. Razor has boots. Mm. They have three on the techies. That's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. A lot of these uh, like very offensive pause fours, pause fives. Uh, have like huge level three power spikes. Uh, gyro, when we saw it support again, another one with the two points in your rocket barrage. Techies with two points in the bomb, very good. Yeah, he oh. was being trying to spam some spells on Abaddon, but K1 knows what to do. Oh, does he have the last hit with the flat cannon? Oh my goodness, now they're actually gonna turn back on Weege. I think the Lama will burn to it, but it does mean that Gyro gets that solo XP. Gets himself another point in the flat cannon. Could choose to go all in on it if he wants. Uh, but honestly, we you got tip for it. I think that was uh, the best way that could have ended for you. You still get the kill and your gyro gets all the XP. Opa, Abaddon. Ooh, he didn't die there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, yes. they're still trying for it. They will yet. KJ with the double. Let's go, Chen. But uh, FCR does get the return there. Still Bro, this fantastic is double play from KJ. Harpies. Oh no! The damage no, was the real harpy. there. My captain, my captain. That's this, illegal. How do you do that? I feel like uh, typically we've seen people like block all the camps, but you can still go find others. It looks like bot side. It's still just a lot of gaming down here. Schofield and Weege will trade lives. But uh, this time, it does look like Divine Llama is the one to pick up the solo XP. Bot rune, we had a DD spawn, so Tiny's actually going to pick that one up for himself. Uh, well needed, because I don't think this lane is going... Oh, no, he's... Okay, he's doing much better than I thought. He's only 200 gold down. He's up yep. in CS. What? Tiny is a very strong laner. Depending I'm... on your know-how on the matchup, you can do just fine. He had to come back from that first wave as well. You said that 4DR was owning on Tiny. I didn't think he meant this hard. This is really well done from him. This is his hero at the moment. Interesting. I don't know why it did not got banned. Ah. Uh, it's a really nice flex pick as well. I know that you're telling me that it's not going to anyone else, but you can at least pretend it's a pause 4. 
uh, as they did with the gyrocopter already, right? Had that flex going. Looks like they're going to trade out for wisdom runes, but so far this gyrocopter, overall first pick, overall oh, first net worth. Oh, in danger. Chain away. The residual burn is not enough. He will live for now, but... Oh, Kasabale. Really want to run forward for more. Yeah, that was he actually went, so close. He went for another point in that rocket barrage. Good for him. Good for him on gyrocopter. Is yeah, he going for a, uh, a message? True. I think so. He wants war. That's the message he's sending. Yeah. It's just Davai Lama. Now he knows that he can't just dive the gyro every time. Hmm. Until he ah, gets six. <laughs> that's a fair point. It's like scaling your ulti so you can be a little bit more protected on other heroes. That's a... Uh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, if he had the one point at least on the missile, right. he could get a kill on the on the chamber. Yeah. It's really hard though. Like, uh, because of a point, you don't even want to be that offensive sometimes. Analog. Gonna get gone on here. They do have the toss backwards, but it looks like he's still living all the way through on analog. They don't oh have the God. damage. They'll just get the kill. They even bring in the timber saw to help out. It still won't be enough though. The analog will live. Tiny, unfortunately, dropping. Yeah, nice TP. He didn't do a lot of damage on the tiny there, but every every point of damage there. Will definitely oh. help secure the kill. Okay, I had no idea. First off, congratulations, Chen. You are very farmed. Bad news, you're almost as farmed as your timber saw. It's been a rough lane for Divine Llama. I mean, he got a double kill. That's true, dude. He's rolling in cash. They're trying again. It's the poor beating the poor as 40R roams down to the bot lane and kills the timber saw once again. They don't have the damage to take down the tower, but Castable is pretty happy about this one. He's got four points in the rocket barrage and all the mana to sustain it here with the Falcon Blade. Yeah, that way he can get involved if he wants to. He can like TP mid as Timber did on the other rotation just to add some damage. That's gonna help him farming mm -hmm. as well. Has the Falcon Blade, so he can just spam the rocket barrage Ooh. if he wants to. They have a really he deep ward here. The, uh, arcane ring. Oh, God. Oh, he got Arcane Ring on Gyrocopter. Interesting. Well, up here, Hiko does die. They had a really deep ward to find stacks, but uh, Midas Club oh, expertly He's... don't stack. Easy game. <laughs> so, they are really trying to take the Razor Tower. That was my concern. Mm, yeah. At least Razor got something out of the lane. Oh, yeah. No, well, well farmed right now for FCR. He's doing a good job, but tower was toast. Never stood a chance. I wonder if they will try to go and take the Abaddon tower. Mm. I mean, uh, it's weird sometimes. Are you doing it just for the revenge, or is it actually the right move to make on the map right now? I feel like your uh, Jaro is farming up pretty well here. Dodging around on Weez, Sharpshooter, it does connect. But Divine Llama actually going to walk into the bombs of the Gyrocopter, but they don't commit. <laughs> and in fact, they don't commit for the kill on Batrider either. Yeah, your huh. Weez is alive. He's trying to get six on this batch. That's so important mm. for them. Yeah. There's the dagger on the tiny. Still 1k to get the item. Yeah, they need this dagger yeah. to make some moves. If they are planning uh. on getting the Abaddon Tower, you need your dagger because Heroic, they will defend it, so you know that mm. you have to fight them. FCR making some stacks for herself up here. They do have stacks for the Leshrac they just made. No wards on it from Radiant right now. They may have actually beaten out the Bat Rider, so he couldn't see it. Analog's about to propel his net worth once again. And uh, as you said, Leshrac kind of turns into a carry at some point. What's his build? Surely he's got the four Diabolic Edict points. Yeah, him and Divide Llama are going to farm this very fast. Yeah, and he's getting new Scepter. That's good to help kiting the Razor. Mm, yeah. Surviving when you get jumped. You have the Chen heal, so if you get jumped, you can just use yourself, get healed by the Chen. And be ready to fight. Uh, and uh, 
These 15 minute, 20 minute timings. Yeah, right? Like, that's gonna be running down your towers in about five minutes. So, for Midas Club, what are you doing to prevent yourself from this? What a heroic uh, doing to all in for it as well. You need I mean, to bring everyone, even the gyro. Yeah. He's gonna be farmed up. He's gonna have a lot of magic to offer. Divine Llama is farming up these ancient camps for himself. He's actually climbing back up on the net worth slightly, but still. Uh, very hard for him right now. We just have a lot of farmed people in this game, to be honest. Yeah. Even the supports it's at 2k true. net worth at this point of the game is pretty good. Bro, look at this Chan. So farmed, man. I mean, this is the power of that hero. It's just gonna continue. He's like, okay, look, if you're not ancients. taking these camps, I'm taking these camps, all right? You had 12 minutes to buy. They're mine now. Isn't that a greedy move? He's oh, level yes. 8. He got the stack. They he knows, like, Timber is clicking on his Chen's items and he's going, wait a second. How much gold do you have? How much CS have you been taking? I'm sitting here still trying to finish my first item. What are you doing? Oh, Costable. Nice read. Huge. Huge read. Literally got as much as he could in this bot lane before keeping out at the very last second. They'll still lose their tower, but again, such as life versus an Abba, Leshrac, and a Chen. Bro, they're taking the tower and they're keeping mid to defend their own tower. Mm. When and is somehow, Midas playing? With all of this happening, with all the sacks they've taken on Heroic, with all the towers they've taken, still Gyrocopter is top net worth in the game. Radiant He's been just farming. Got only one Q on the lane, but mm. he's farming a lot. This hero farm is so fast. Oh yeah. Avalanche have the takes down some of the creeps, sending him back in. And well, with the Yule's Dagger, he'll make some time, but can they still get the kill? They will. Hiko drops the bombs right on top of the last rack, and they'll get themselves a very, very wealthy kill on that last rack. This is why you go four points on Rocket Barrage. You just bring mm -hmm. your gyro, you cure their lash. You're very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Working on your Aghanims, and you got your first tower out yeah. of this. He, Gyro can win this game, man. Gyro can build whatever items he needs to inevitably take this one. Weege once again dodging the sharpshooter, getting the bump away. Divine Llama will still keep on the chase here. He thinks he can still get it, trying to dodge around the timber lasso. chain, but now he's turning back around. Oh no, the acorn will take him out. But now with the link up from Razor, FCR will get some well needed damage. A huge heal from the Chen, actually protecting him for now, giving him some extra armor as well with the boys surrounding him. The army will keep chasing Come after back, FCR, right? but yeah, no, I know. I feel like he can still take this. He has no info to getting there. Yeah, but that was Abaddon ha uh, being involved on a fight, and they just pop haste run and run. They forced the uh, Chen OT as well. Hmm. Yeah. Which is another reason this hero is fantastic. I mean, you get 20 heal per second plus the 150 at base. I mean, this is insane spell. Insane spell. Ooh, look at that! Oh, what a nice net worth grab! There. Holy. <laughs> It's all over. Nice Thankfully, numbers. I mean, the lead is, is it's literally less than a thousand, right? So it's just continually going back and forth between, like, who has the 500 net worth lead. Incredibly close game. I only see this gyro farming a lot, man. Uncontested. Mm. He, he just, can build to win this game. He just keeps growing. Look. Once he gets out of Scepter, like, what does he go next? I feel like... Satanic is a pretty fine option. Maybe even just like a Morbid Mask into SNY could also be good. Maybe Beaky Bee could be good. Like he needs like almost all of those items. It's just in what order he gets them. Weege going down. Not a lot of kills in this game also. It has been a lot of farming. Yeah, that's only because Midas Club, they're not making crazy movements, forcing nah. anything. They've been just farming. If you see a free kill and the tiny's there with the techies, they go. But they're not going for the top tower, they're not going for the bottom tower. Actually, Gyro is hitting there. He forced the glyph. Yeah. And they're going into Roshan right now, so they're going to take Roche. Gyro is maybe going to take this tower if they know what's going on. They still have yet to use, lose their mid-tier 1, by the way, even though they have been playing against this Leshrac and Chen. But this Just got the Roshan cover goes down from very the tiny. fast. Oh. is invisible but on the bottom lane, waiting for it. 
an answer on heroic side, but they don't know. Roche. This is gonna happening. be a big spike. Yeah. This is gonna be really well done. Give it over to Analog. Let's track probably the best hero to have an Aegis on, like in the game. So probably lose a mid now. Yeah, that will make sure that he doesn't die again on the next tiny jump. But yeah. Flash is still not that strong. Still needs at least one more item. He needs to finish he his right Kaya. Now? He only got gold <laughs> after the Yo Scepter. I see, okay. So he's got this uh, little bit of protection mag oh, the from magic with the cloak, and then yeah, I don't know, Weege. We just been just like sidestepping these sharpshooters. I I think only one has hit. Schofield's uh he's, he's starting to feel it maybe a bit. He's got the moves. He's got the Nikes. Are we sponsored by a shoe brand yet for, for Dream League? That could be the next one. Just watch a, a bunch of like compilations of sidesteps from stuns. Be nice. Dyer are scanning. So Ad Abaddon is gonna have his Manta style. I think that's the power spike on Heroic. But Midas Club, they're not afraid. They're smoking. Mm. They wanna find an angle. Put the dagger on the on the bat rider, but they decided to not go because there's the use scepter and that on analog. That could buy some time. <laughs> Pico just getting on out of there. I mean, the, the map hasn't really closed up much for this being an Aegis with a Chen and a Leshrac. Uh, I think the the Timbersaw being down and out after this lane stage really put uh, a wrench in the plan from Heroic on how they wanted to play this map. But he's coming back now. He has the Blink Dagger, as you mentioned. He's going for the Eternal Shroud. Eternal Shroud is still a fantastic item on this hero, and a lot of what the Gyro does is going to be nullified once uh, he gets that finish. So it's going to be up to the physical damage that they have afterwards on the Razor, on the Gyro. Uh, that'll be carrying this next fight. So they're pushing this tower without the Abaddon. Hmm. Interesting. Midas Club, are they allowing it to happen? Hmm. It seems so. Actually, Heroic, they gave up on the idea. Huh. I, I feel like so much more could be happening on this map right now with these heroes. Another pretty good TP out from the 10. They do see that the star is going down, no fortification, so he's just going to take the wave. So they really don't want to fight against this Aegis Lash. They want to hit their timings on Midas Club. They want to get BKB on Gyro. <gasps> no! Analog was TPing out and the Wisdom Room auto-popped, cancelling his TP. Which means whatever move they were making has now been nullified, uh, thanks to that rune timer. What can you do? What can you do? Still, uh, Gyro looks like he did commit for the BKB. You literally take away two sources of damage the Lush Rack and the Timber Saw. So it looks like uh, he's about 2,000 gold, 2,400 gold away from it. Yeah, question now is does he have enough damage to kill heroes during BKB? Ooh, that's fair. That's really that's fair. It's always the question with the Gyro. Especially against the, the Lash and Timber. Yeah. Lash, thankfully, doesn't have life steal up now, so you're not crazy hurt. Timber Saw is going to have the Eternal Shroud. That one might not happen at all. We haven't even talked about the ABBA, who, by the way, has Echo Manta. He's been farming quite well himself. I don't think and he really no, no. deserves this tower. And the, with the Rune, finally a sharpshooter will connect, but the Seize of Serenity will not be enough to save Bat Bat Rider. Yeah, they they are really avoiding fights before Gyro BKB. Roik is taking advantage of this. Mhm. Mm this is exactly what their lineup needs to do. I'm uh, proud of them for making the decision, getting those uh, early moves out. A lot of pressures on Kasabale now. Looking like 600 gold away from the BKB now. Once he gets this, as you said, they may not have enough damage to fight. The items are going to carry the game on Gyrocopter, but he's got to get there. We've got to see a Daedalus, I think. We probably need to see a Scani. Maybe we need to see, again, a Disperser or something to kind of cut yourself away from damage. these fights. But yeah, maybe just you do just go the whole way. Daedalus. And you hope the crates are there. No. 
And you hope you're at tiny scales as well. With the Kanda. Now they're going for a play. That's true. I mean, is coming is, on Gyro. This is not a no damage hero. Tiny will wreck you. Even some strong carries in the game will die. Look at this. Have it in. Haven't committed the toss just yet. They'll do it afterwards. A nice ulti in from the Chen, but they're still keeping going with the gyrocopter. Kostabile putting in the work versus this. Timbersaw gets the kill and on Analog, but yeah, you gotta get away now. It was his first BKB. They're gonna toss up K1. He already used his ulti. They could commit for more. Hiko's providing some vision on the backside. They're chasing through with SCR now. Clipped with the Phantom oh, now. He didn't get the plasma lens, but yo, the toss from downtown. Tiny finds K1 with the BKB from FCR now. What a tiny from Midas. They'll get the kill on KJ as well. FCR, run him down, baby. It's a double for the Razor and a team wipe for Midas Club. Yeah, that was some Patrick Mahomes stars on there with 4DR. And Razor mm -hmm. was not even there at the start. He was just, so just farming top. And they connected the quick smoke. Getting heroic out of guard on their triangle. They just waited for the Aegis to run out. They waited for the BKB on the gyro. And they knew they had their timing. They knew they were they were stronger. Mm-hmm. No, this is a huge look with the BKB. I sure hope they don't throw it away now. He's got a rocket down. They're TPing people in. Okay, yeah. Protect this gyro, man. Any death for the gyrocopter could spell disaster because now he's worth a ton of gold. It'll get somebody back into this game. On heroic, but also like he needs to stay on the map and keep farming to these next items. The job is not done yet. Not done yet. Still tier one top tower. They can try to use that obs they have on the top lane mm. to yeah. go for another fight. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yeah. That was a four thousand net worth lead. It looks like so much, but it's only like a four K net. <laughs> so. The form distribution of this game is very good. Mm hmm Yeah, nobody's really uh like climbing up and over. Gyro is still farmed. Like he's got yeah, defusal now on K1. Yeah, I think analog just He got caught out of guard there because he didn't have the mm. bloodstone to fight. If he uh, had the life steal okay. there, he would be able to survive. He'll have the cover from the Abaddon. And they will be Aegis able to fight too. back. Yeah. Next Aegis. I believe we'll still spawn top here. Could be up in about 20 seconds. And this is exactly where you want to play if you are Midas Club. You want to take down this tower. Maybe get some deeper wards in towards the TP spots. But Roshan could actually spawn bottom magically if it's a very short spawn. I doubt Let's it. See. It won't matter, but let's see. <laughs> right? Like, it's gonna go top. No matter what, it's gonna head up there. Long, long respawn. Okay. Uh, minute 30. You see? So it's a that... middle of the road respawn. Yeah, kinda. You see how uh, Costable is approaching this game? He's going straight for the Satanic on the Gyro, not even mm. finishing the Daedalus, so he knows he has to survive on the fight. Goodbye mm. time for the Razor to dish damage, for your Tiny yeah. to dish damage. Because you That's know nice you're not theory. the only carry there. I wonder if he goes in for like a uh, an SNY at some point then. Because he is trying to just live. They're going on to the 10 first. They don't have a chance about the ulti. Could buy back and pop it still if they feel like it's worth it. But Schofield is the one that's going in right now. They'll get the kill. Castable not going to go for anybody else. They actually TP'd out on the ABBA. Two gone instantly. And as you said, man, this Tiny, he'll, he'll take you down. Yeah, it's not easy to hit Midas Club's towers if they are willing to defend. Yeah. The defense, it's uh, its weird. They still got the tower that they wanted, so it's not like it was all for naught. But they did end up getting some kills in return. Yeah, but what they are really accomplishing with this tower kill, it doesn't feel like they are winning or farming more, a lot more on the map. Like they're going to keep up on this top side. Keep control for Roshan, which if they look in here in about five seconds, they'll have it. Yeah. 
So. Hiko, 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 let's go! We love supports who check Roshan. <laughs> now they should just go. Right? Instantly. Uh, you're just feeling go. it right now. There isn't a ton of team fight. I think that's what I would be worried about. If the other team still had a lot of team fight to work around the Roshan pit, I would be worried. But look at this guy. He is so thick. Satanic completed. Going for the Daedalus. I like this. I think you have the defensive items you need at this point. You don't need to do anything too crazy now. They are going to lose the Bat Rider. And this is dangerous. Buy. There's, you do, but you don't have a way to get back into Roshan very quickly. Yeah, they have he to back out now. Buying back. Oh, they want to see if they can wait because they they can try to delay the fight. Yeah, it's only a 30, 30 second timer. It's not a ton, but you have to have the vision down to take this fight. Oh, buying yeah, back now. Taking the fight. The Look two. at the yeah, waves. They need to. One oh push yeah. In middle, one pushing bottom, and the oh, fight's no. gonna start. Schofield's actually trying to find the Batrider. He'll drop a ward up, sees where he's running towards. Divine Llama. Oh, they, Thought that was the real tiny. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Now they have the nice jump on Batrider. He's getting locked in, but FCR is getting exactly what he wants to know. The bat side, they're going down on the left track. Sucking. He's dropping the bombs. He adds a bloodstone. He's trying to heal up through it. This is the first life, technically, of K1. And they use the bloodstone on analog. They're going to buy back on 40R as well. They're sitting on top of the gyrocopter. His BKB's already out. He's taking so much magic damage. He's even sitting on top of the stuns from Lestrak, but finally, they'll get the team in on top of Kostopoli, heal up their gyro, and go back in for more. The rocket barrage is too much, Analog will fall. Oh, it's tiny. a triple avalanche on 40R, and wrapping them up with his big old trade. Divine Lava will try to get away from this one. Barely gets out with the timber chain. KJ, can he find his way through? He will. It's still two gone, with two buybacks used from Midas Club. But hey, this could be Roshan for your team. Yeah, but the tiny buyback is expensive. Mm -hmm. They were not in a fighting position there because they, they were spread. If tiny plays with with gyro or the razor, they definitely get kills. Mm -hmm. It was just a nice approach on heroic the first seconds of the fight. But yeah, they stand not a chance against these BKB satanic gyro. They just don't have enough damage. Mm -hmm. And now he has an Aegis. Getting the day to this as well soon. I mean, you could see just barely living in that first round on the uh, the last track. Really only turned around because the ulti was pumping through from K1. But now with the Daedalus completed, I don't think he will live through just that Bloodstone. Yeah, I don't know, man. Cheese and Aegis now. Mm-hmm. They're running out of time on Heroic, it feels like. Yeah, yeah the Lash is very strong on the late game, but... I don't know, it's Gyro, Razor, and Tiny. They've done a great job of pushing the objectives, making sure that the ways are exactly where they needed to be. They had two knocking on the door. Maybe they forced that fight just a little bit too much, I'm not sure. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Lash <laughs> toss gets the hatred for himself on the Tiny. That would be a very good rune on analog. A very, very good rune. If he had that last fight, he would not die. That's true. I don't think they even have like a dispel on Midas Club, right? Like nobody has a Yules on their team? I don't think so. Not yet. Let me check the techies. Oh, sure, techies good. Yeah, he doesn't have Yule Scepter. They're just gonna keep pressuring this tower now. Stable, he's got the damage. It's They'll use the fort, but they don't have a top tower. Why'd they use the fort? Oh, Schofield in danger. Gonna get lassoed up, but same with the Atos. He's gonna get rooted and murdered on Whis, trying to start something for his team. Yeah, first things first. Whis gotta stop dying like this. <laughs> Last time he had to buy back. Just yeah. to go on the fight. Which, isn't this technically that die back for him? Yeah. He got yeah. the timer at least. Yeah. Now. Better now than during a team fight. That's true. Man. Butterfly coming up next. Okay, so he is actually worried about that physical damage, huh? I didn't think he was. Like, uh, the ABBA hasn't actually gotten on top of him very often, and he's got multiple dispels. And yeah, 
You don't really buy MKB on the Abaddon. Oh, you might have to now. Yeah, no, force another item. BKB pop from FDR, 40R. They do get sharp shot, but he just eats it. Literally, I, it looked like the tiny just opened his mouth and ate it. I don't think he took any damage from it at all. He doesn't care. That bite back really hurts on his net. Mm. He's stuck with the BKB Echo Saber timing. Not yeah. really being able to get more. He is a very far and pause for. Unfortunately, he and uh, Divine Llama are in the same boat right now. Uh, the Timber also struggling a bit. What, what does the Timber have? It's been a while since I've uh, I've given him some thoughts. So he's, he's got the Veil. Okay, he's gone in for the armor. Very good versus the Gyrocopter. He had the Shard. I don't know if that was something he bought or was from a uh, Tormentor, though. So Overall, this is still tanky enough items for a Timber. That uh, The finish on the Shivas will provide a lot for his game. A lot of vision, a lot of damage. That anti-heal yeah. versus the gyro as well. It's going to be pretty necessary. It has to be enough. So, one minute for the Aegis to mm. expire. Yeah. And we're not seeing Midas Club going for a lot of plays. They're yeah. just pushing out waves. They got top tower. Now they are probably rotate, rotating towards bottom. I mean, this is still anybody's but, game. Even though we've seen the last few fights go the way of Midas Club, it's not, it's not a one game by any means. They're not getting good advantage. Not a lot. Has been killed. Oh, they killed the plate mail. That's a big one. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what was on it? The gyro on the next fight? Yeah, it's for the, the chamber, actually. Uh. It was chamber's plate mail. Oh, okay, plate mail. So 30 seconds on the Aegis, and we go high ground. Yeah. Oh boy. No fortification available. They can keep pumping wherever they want. 20 seconds for the Aegis. Oh, yo, 40 R blinks on in, decides to toss out K1. He does put himself in the midst of danger, but they hadn't forced the first life of K1 yet. I think he had to force out his ulti. If you wanted this to work, yeah, they have to back out of this. With him still having a second yeah. life, it's not worth it, especially as you lose the second life on Kasable. He didn't get the read there of just popping BKB to get the toss on the chamber. Mm. Ab Ab Abaddon is not the greatest target of all. Now that was BKB on the tiny. As your Aegis ran out, so Heroic, they're going to smoke up. They know that there is a fight to be had. And 40R, yeah. you got to be careful, man. They want you. They want to find you. And they have a huge they need to ward. Dodge. Oh no. They might not be able to. Gustable. Thankfully, they still have a tower around that they can TP to. Tier 2 is still up. If they do find the gyro and FCR. It's a big oh. boy. Yeah. He's not going to go down immediately. They managed to dispel the flat cannon, actually. I kind of forgot that was even a thing. They have the rocket on Schofield. He's taking a lot of damage. Actually, the Atos will connect for a second, and they're jumping in on support to the backside. Abba leading the charge here. Hiko likely will fall, but already dropped so many bombs for himself. They'll have the nihilism from Analog. Very hard time hitting him, but FCR, Kasable, they still have BKBs to use if they want. BKB up from Kasable. Oh, they'll tiny. drag back Analog. He's taking so much damage. This is not where he parked his car. He is very dead. And Heroic, they have to run away from this one. Trading supports for a Chen and a Leshrac. You definitely lose out on that one. This is very big for Midas Club. This was a fight Heroic wanted to take, but it feels like they were, they, they were, I don't know. They wasn't sure if they wanted to go there. They don't have good heroes to start fights like mm -hmm. this. You need to jump in with your Lash. Yeah. But Analog doesn't really want to do this. You don't have any stun from Fog until there are Hex in the mix. That was a, yeah, a Yules, and the next one would have been like Atos or Bushwhack maybe if you hit it on time, <laughs> but like there is still a BKB to be popping the gyro and he just turns around and kill you, so Scofield was like, I don't want to die. I, I'm, if I die, then like you guys aren't winning this fight, so he had to just run away. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they really thought through like what they wanted to do with that smoke. And who's killing the gyro? That he has butterfly, has BKB satanic. Oh, is the butterfly complete? Where's the damage coming oh, from? Oh my lord. What is his? What is he rounding this out with? Swift Blink, Hurricane Pike, Disperser. Yeah, I mean, those that have got helps to be the him three. To not get kited because they're relying really yeah. on this tiny toss. <gasps> oh my god. Dude, the, the heal heater gets a huge Lotus! 
got no weeds. He'll actually die for this one. Trying to get the kill on this Gofield hero. He's still taking so much damage, but they haven't killed it's him just incredible. yet. Oh my goodness, now ulti in from the ABBA. They're still trying to chase down Tiny. Jump in from Hiko, drops the bombs right on top. Analog K1, they're taking a lot of damage. Gustavo Lee with the BKB. Here comes the Nihilism from Analog. You can't damage him for now, but Divine Llama, he can still be hurt. Bobbing the BKB from 40R, finally has it up again. Analog wants to chase forward for more, but you can't. You just can't do it. You cannot pass the wall of the Gyrocopter. Not kidding, Abaddon there. Oh my god. They really need one more catch, one more stun. They, this, was a, this was a forced play from the Batrider. Uh, I can't believe that they can heal so much the Hoodwink there. Mm -hmm. Man, they, they need to have the heroes on top of the play. Yep. Because they, they can't just wait the last waste, the lasso. Yeah. The bongo boots, man. Bongo boots in the hand of God, both very good. Gets him out of any of that slow that the Batrider is doing. They might need Scotty on the gyro. Yeah, so I was thinking about that, but the butterfly, I was not expecting it. I don't think you can go for the Scotty anymore because you don't, like, unless you suck up the axe. If he sucks up the axe, then yes. If you get a good neutral, you can just sell your boots. Ah, uh, I suppose, yeah. Gonna be waiting a while for that one, though. They are going in analog. Popping the Bloodstone once again. Nihilism, I think they kill FCR. They're dragging back Schofield, but he'll once again get away. This is not a huge timing for Analog. He has this up much more often than BKBs here from Midas Club. They're going to Abatoss through. First life of the Abba oh, down the for count, but... Kasable, here comes the BKB. He'll take down Analog. He needs to turn on K1 because his Tiny's in danger, but 40R will just fall. Now the rest of the team here from Heroic feel that they can take down a Gyrocopter by themselves. I feel like that's true, but uh, he is farmed. K1 gets a double kill. Heroic finally turned this one around and made up themselves a gold lead for the first time since I think the laning stage. Yeah, this is so smart that Heroic decided to take the fight now because they knew that the BKBs were, were like 20 seconds on cooldown for Midas mm. Club heroes. So they got the Razor kill, the Gyro. He had to fight there no. just to defend his scores, but this was a disaster. Even mm -hmm. though they got the last kill, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's just math. Bloodstone is a 35 second cooldown. BKBs now are 95 seconds. You're fitting two, almost three Bloodstones in between every single BKB for the enemy team. They only lost the ranged Rex. That's okay. But it's still 36 seconds on the Tiny. The rush is available. I wonder if Midas will have a chance to fight here. Oh. <sighs> Everybody will this be up. This is Rapier time. Whoa. Oh, this game is in burst, though. Yeah, this so is dangerous to me. If you can't catch them. You just kill them before they run away, right? I suppose so. In my head, this is rough because uh, you do have like a, a second life always on K1. Are they giving him three lives? No, okay, yeah. So you have two lives on Analog and on K1. This is no longer a burst game. These fights are going to go long no matter what. So like your BKB timing, your Satanic timing, like those are the two things you're working with the Gyro. You don't have a ton of enabling on the rest of your team. Like nobody is... You don't have a Chen on yours that's giving you a ton of heal. I don't know. This is hard. They need to find a way to burst this Lash. They're smoking Again, up. Uh, if the Abaddon is close, it's very hard. Yeah, they, they just got the Raper, so they want to use it now. They don't want to give time to Heroic to buy more, more items. They're going to take a lot of damage to the Tormentor. Supports are a little bit low. It's gonna get the uh, Aghanim Scepter eaten up. Yeah, I see on the uh, on the Abba. Yeah, they're reading that someone is gonna farm the triangle now. Or defend mid. I actually, Gyro with that Ags will send these fights. Or uh, Abba with these Ags will send the fights. Gets the lasso and Weege putting his body on the line for this one. They'll kill the first alive instantly. Look at the and the oh, get out of this one has to use this cheese. Now they've had a toss up K1. He's got to back out of this one. Analog, he doesn't stand a chance. He finally finds the Bloodstone. FCR, the BKB is gone. The Nihilism will start to pop through, but Gyrocopter will drop the bombs himself. Force everybody away from this one. This is on their ward. This is oh their fight my God. right now that for Midas Club. They'll take KJ. 
The rapier from Gyro puts in mad work and they get one kill on the Chen and the Aegis kill. It felt like a little bit more, but that's still big for them. And the biggest part, he didn't use BKB. Oh no, yeah, still has a BKB available from Kasabale. Tiny will give his life to help his team. Nihilism popped once more from Analog. The bombs will still do damage, but he's kiting himself expertly out of this one. And Gyrocopter still lives. Now they got it around. Now they got it around. They could, unless, JK unless, Vailama, pushing his luck, won't commit further. Yeah, they, they don't have a second set of stuns after Lasso and Tiny. 4 is doing a great job of fishing these heroes. Mm, yeah. What yeah, are the SCR items right now? They need more. FCR have... Let's see. Satanic. Yeah, just, ah! Kind of like carry build. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the Satanic. I think that's, uh... If you are looking to extend these fights to yourself, everybody, if you are on my Discord club, it's how do we keep the effectiveness of our heroes up for longer in these fights? Because they have many lives to work with. Uh, now, you know, with Aegis gone, maybe not so much, but look at, yeah, dude, that, that Abomus Coil stuff is no joke. It will extend these fights. It will. They just need to use BKB and, and Satanic properly. That's what Jaira did on the last fight. That's why he didn't die there. It was mm -hmm. still a threat against Heroic. You can just pop both. Yeah. And these Aghanims on the Lash is doing a great job at keeping Analog alive. Didn't do that last fight because he died so fast. <laughs> but on his second life, yeah. Does the, uh, does the Reaper look any different now that it's a toggle ability, technically? No, okay, it looks exactly the same. Huh. Yeah, the difference is that if you are toggling on the magic, you don't have the damage. Yeah, but like, I would have thought that it looked different in some way. Like, toggle towards damage or toggle towards magic. Oh, the looks, the design? Yeah. Oh, okay, so he sucks up the Agon Scepter, goes for bots. This means that whatever item he picks up here at, at 47 minutes, will be all his. He doesn't have to worry about anything weird. But, oh no. I mean, next set of items is yeah. one hour items. Yeah, no, he already has the, the Mind Breaker for himself. Yeah, so with these bots, it's like you can still chase them. You don't have Scotty to slow them down, but you're fast enough to chase them. Especially when you use the... The, the, um, the humming missile, mm. you can just chase it. Yeah. So, the gyro has decided what his items are. It'll be all that he's working towards. I imagine at this point, you probably want to complete like a, uh, oh, the Avionis with there, eh? A lot of evasion there for 40 R. He, he's thick, man. The 4K, it doesn't look like he's got many HP items, but man's got 4,000 HP right now, Tiny. Yeah, this is a big boy tiny. Uh, Four strength gain per level. Ooh, the Vailama. Finds Weege. Has to get out of here. I don't think he can though, Aegis won't connect. Now they're forced to take this fight. There goes Schofield, they finally take him down. Support for support, Fs the art. Getting on top of Analog, and the blast off will connect as well. He'll steal all of his damage, but here comes they the Nihilism. They will the KO <laughs> through the ulti. He got crit through his ulti. He doesn't have buyback. Please, what? can you please click on his death summary? What on earth was that last tick of damage? He wasn't ready for this. Gyro did 1,200 damage in a single attack. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. I have so rarely, so rarely ever seen something like that happen. The auto threshold is 400. Or sorry, it's 525. Bro, the oh. way FCR played this fight was so good as well. He was oh just my god. chasing analog, making sure the Lash would never be able to join the fight. That forced a bad on to help the lash. And that gave a lot of space for the gyro to just click on the enemies. 
Now it's just go time. He have buyback now. He does have buyback. I I am just flabbergasted. I so rarely have seen. I think I see that from PAs usually. That's hard to see from a gyrocopter. Yeah, man, get flagged. Oh. One minute, and then we'll know the uh, the Aegis timing. Next, Roche is the big one. They have nullify, right, on the Razor? Yes. Yeah, he nullified Flash just the, the Flash to walk him down. Upgraded. And it's a pretty big item. So it does two things. First off, of course, it does everything that you want versus the last track, right? You're allowed to hit him everything quite nice uh but also it is a lincoln's break versus the abyss you're always able to link him if you really yep. want to radiance middle tower is under attack because nihilism it is dispellable like it or not it is a dispellable ability nullifier works well So what's the plan here for Midas? They just hold and wait for the Roche? Let's see. Ooh. The XP? Oh, nice XP gain there. Yeah. A little bit of something. What it's a, gonna be a Dire same. Roche. Yeah. And Midas already have a very good ward on the lane. Top side. Oh, yeah. Heroic is doing their best to just push the waves and make Midas just come back. Oh, they're actually going to force everything. Fortification available. They'll use it now. Breaking the trees as well. Avalanche is through, but the Yule Scepter actually from Scofield will prevent them from tossing back Analog. They dropped Bonds as a DD on Divai Llama. Lasso. Oh, no. It breaks on the Lincolns given to him by K1. Heads up play. Holy. Nice. Now Analog wants to run Roche. Gyro, Gyro um, has bots too, so he can get that. And he needs to use fast. him because he, he has no mana. He's oh, got to get back him. into the base. They found Schofield. Avalanche once. Divine Llama sitting on top of FCR. Still not popping the BKB just yet. They'll both use it as the splitter comes out from the left track here. And here comes Tech. He's actually jumping into the mix of Sabalay. Black Cannon, baby. Let's see who survives. Divine Llama trying to run away from this one. He's disarmed now thanks to the Nihilism, but the Rocket Barrage was still going. Avalanche up with the Nullifier. They could kill the left track, but Analog, he's still healing up off the play. The stone, so they're still going through. Castabile, he has to turn oh this around. No, they're getting back on him. He's he just gets run through from the Divine Llama. They kited him. He's got buyback. Abba now with a rapier. He has to use it. The way Heroic managed the resources on this fight was insane. Mm -hmm. They just kited the gyro during BKB, during Satanic. They didn't have lasso. Toss up, buy back on the gyrocopter. K1 getting dragged on through. Lincoln's has already popped, taking a lot of damage, but now the heal is out. This is the first life now. He's they used up. They already killed FDR, FDR. He's trying to get back in now. K1, can he get out of this? Toss back as well. They want to keep him in. The gyro gets his rapier back on in. <laughs> oh my god. FDR is putting in buyback. overtime. Holy. Does he buy here for the Roche fight or not? Ah, I mean, you've lost two significant core buybacks on Midas Club. Gustavo is back where he wants to be. He was actually pretending to finish out another crit stick. So. Yeah, because he didn't have the, the Rapier, so he bought back uh, and bought the Crystalis just to be able to fight. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, oh. two buybacks forced on Midas, so Tiny and Gyro cannot die. They are not allowed to. Mm -hmm. And if you are not forcing K1's buyback here, Heroic has the advantage for the next fights. Yep. And they'll have this, they'll get the Aegis now, but it's not quite the same of having buyback. <laughs> the fact that Tiny is dying just to get in there and toss people. It's insane. Yeah. Has to BKB before. Razor crash. SCR. Crash. Don't do this to me, SCR. 
Let's refresh your shard. The razor, we all know that is it is a very good item. Being able to have second round of spells and items. We, see that, we know that Jairo would use a second BKB mm -hmm. very well. Oh, yeah. I guess bots in, throw in the refresher. Yeah. He's also going to have an Aegis, so... It's uh, not even going to get the bots in part of it anymore. Yeah, I think you just drop the BKB first. I see. To, to wear the Aegis. Did we pick up an MKV on the Abba yet? Did he even think about that? No, okay. I don't think so. Maybe it's still rough. I mean, Gyro is still taking much more than just Abba damage. That, uh... Yeah, just need to kite him during BKB and Satanic, then you kill him mm -hmm. quite easily. He's gonna go in. This is a pretty big Aegis. Roshan will give a second life to the Gyrocopter. What else is on that, uh, that Roshan right now? I think this is like the, the third one. Yeah, there's the pressure shard and the banner. At that point, okay, yeah, they're gonna be the refresher to razor. Re refresher BKB used to be like the always razor thing to do, but now he'll uh, have one for free from Roshan. Yeah, Jairo uh, just bought one as well. I, I am refresher. They don't have any regen degen from Midas Club, right? Like this razor bloodstone, yeah, or not razor, that's right, bloodstone. It's just putting in insane work in all these fights. I don't see... Like, you have to have some way to mitigate that regen if you want to kill him in the burst with the gyrocopter. Your damage is so big that you don't even need it. Problem is that he's pressing nihilism the right time. Yeah. Kiting uh. with the Wind Waker. Oh no, he's got a refresh on that as well. get to hit him, it doesn't matter. Hmm. They need to find a good lasso or a very good toss back. They're still losing the objective game right now from Midas Club. Right yeah. now, not even a tier 3 down from Heroic. Midas Club have a hemorrhaged base between top and mid. Zager, Zager is going to quite time for the buybacks to come up online. But th there's a small window. Heroic can just take advantage of the Aegis, Aegis expired, expiring and just, just go for a smoke play and get them without buybacks. It's like one minute and a half window. I need to get something out of this ages. Smoking. You've gotta, gotta, gotta get at least top racks evened up. You're constantly having to worry about this wave. Your mid wave is, wave is still being pressed in. You don't feel comfortable enough to go for both. And heroic. I don't think they're coming back. <laughs> oh, Gyro is. <laughs> Jairo is actually going to show in the mid wave, but thankfully everybody else from Heroic is bottom right now. He's Isn't got bots he too. brave enough to get one more? <laughs> what on earth are these drawings on the map? Someone is going crazy. Just testing the mouse. <laughs> mouse works, guys. They still have some time to find fights on my Club side. But at the same time, it feels like they're trapped because they don't have buybacks. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, they, so they also don't they have really easiest waves to push down waves, right? Like, you have illusions on K1. I think you even have, like, the uh, 10 creeps going down waves. For Midas mode, like, your body has to be pretty much on a wave. Yeah, they could just run down one lane. Let's say they go top. They can definitely threaten their high ground. Problem is, they they will fight against buybacks on heroic, and they have the eggs and cheese. So they they want to have their buybacks. Hmm. 
Yeah, Gyro won't have buyback for another three minutes. I think he'll get the gold. That won't be an issue. Chen is finishing AC now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. What? He, he, he's got pen penitence. Let's uh, let's get him with an MKB. He'll hit pretty fast. You should buy MKB, right? Yeah. Send, send him. Buy B Bloodthorn. Son, time to go on the front lines. Then we'll ride in. Dragonlance, Bloodthorn. Mm-hmm. He, he can pump, man. He can pump. BKB. You sell everything. You sell everything. <laughs> Guys, I know the bongo boots have been working out for us, but I need treads, all right? I need, I need more. So Analog uh, has shard on the, the left track, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, with the blood uh, stun and the talent. These, like... they very hard. You need BKB for sure on the gyrocopter. Things are getting to the point where... Because he was forced to go in for this butterfly, I don't know if he actually has all the item slots that he needs. Uh, the rapier was also slightly unexpected because they were super far behind. But, like, the anti-heal from the Scotty, not actually able to get that. Somebody else on this team needs to do that. Uh, the extra, I think, stash resistance from SMY also would have been pretty nice. Can't get that. So... This game is uh, decently hard for the gyrocopter. I mean, your tiny has to essentially eliminate someone for this game. I think has to be. He's a enabled a on a fight. He can shine, but he really needs his tiny to find in the toss. The, he needs murder. Rider to find the lasso. Yeah. Because he has the damage. So this is the window. No buybacks for one minute, and mm -hmm. no Aegis. Now yeah. here they are just comfortable pushing waves. But they are not smoking to fight. No. If they wait literally one minute, most buybacks will be back up. The <laughs> What did the Batrider buy? That he's down a th thousand on buyback. Uh, I see, so he bought a BKP. I mean, that will keep you alive, to be honest. Let's see if he'll find a lasso now. Uh, this time K1 outplayed him. Board down. 30 more seconds before the buybacks will be available from Midas Club. And two more minutes and a half to get 60 minute items. Let's go! <laughs> That's looking like what's gonna happen. I think we're gonna have a, a magical moment where we'll have all buybacks. 60 minute items, and a Roche fight coming on up. They may fight before that. Tiny. Gotta be careful, man. This is not your map anymore. You do not have Aegis on the... Ooh, Gyro was hit by that, and he walked forward? <laughs> Sable, you got some balls, man. Couldn't be me. This guy is not afraid of anything. He has buyback now, so he's confident. Mm -hmm. Who's, I mean, who's they... buying Midas on the Midas Club? Right, like somebody should get it up. Eh. Techies has been getting a lot of gold. I'm sure he could probably afford one. Toss back, yield out. But a jump through from the Dubai Llama. That's a pretty big right, commit. He stands, gets out, right, forces the, the BKB from two, but they do toss back K1. Silenced up a little bit more. Watch those flat cannons, <laughs> buddy. No! Mm. Lags. Stopily. Yeah. Oh, Razor no. Crash? Okay, I see. Because I was wondering, where's the nullifier on the Lash? Yeah. Uh, as soon as Tiny decides to jump, Lash needs to be closed. Mm, yeah. There's the only way they kill analog. And it's, it's too hard. Just been reactive, Taser's been through. I was expecting Hiko actually just kind of jumping on that one. He's done a really good job. Now, he only has two mines right now, but he's done a fantastic job of using the blast off in and then just like shift queuing all the mines. They are dropping like yeah. instantly. And he's, oh, he's not so far away. From his Agnum Scepter, actually. Oh. 1,200 gold for him, and he'll have that. That'll make another set of impossible fights. May actually be the missing piece that we're missing on Midas mode right now. I still think they need the Scythe of Ice. I think he could... He
replace these Aghanims with the Sight of Eyes. Because they definitely have damage to kill this chamber if they use hacks on him. Uh, he's just chaining away. Oh god, what have they decided? Are we still fighting? It looks like not. Alright, so by, or BKB's used from yep. Midas Club and not as much used at all from Heroic. They are not as BKB reliant. And there's Loli. Chip in the base, they got the tower, now... They have a good ward on Midas. They don't really see anything for now, but... They're trying to... Oh! Nice Huge ward board. on Scofield. Yeah. They all want the one hour items. Until we see if we get a Stygian Desolator on our Gyrocopter. Or, I don't even know if that's the one that he wants. Apex is pretty good. Giant's Rune is okay. Bounty Hunter, or er, Bounty Hat is pretty fine. Oh, Sable. Oh, you're giving me a heart attack. He doesn't have a BKB, right? Just get... Oh my god. Yeah. 10 seconds. He has to drop like Pirate's Head. Yeah. Pirate's Head is pretty good, but they do find the Chen. KJ is down for the count now. That's that uh, global rocket putting exactly where it needs to be. FCR will get rooted up once. Bushwhack coming in will connect on him. Same as the Sharp Shot. Trees from downtown on F40R, but they will not commit just yet. I do believe we got one item on the timber yeah, saw. Force he, boots. He... Yeah, on, okay. On gyro. Oh, we, we got Force Boots on Gyro, okay. The Timber got Force Boots as well. Mm. I think. Yeah. Pretty big. Does mean that uh, he doesn't have to have the boots in pocket then for Gyrocopter. He could maybe slide in that butterfly. Then. Oh, they got the Chan kill. And then they're just getting the neutrals. Mm. Roche is better. alive. <gasps> he doesn't have buyback on Chen. Just kill it. Costable is not going there. At least for now. I think he'll TP to get the Aegis. Uh, Let's check the base. Divine Llama is pressuring here. Left track in the base taking out. K1's gonna go on top of FCR. They do get the gyrocopter in now. It's already an ulti pops here from K1. He's got a lot of HP. Disarmed on the gyrocopter. They could keep going. It is a refresher popped from the Abba again. Refresh that life, but they will still lose Schofield. Now it is BKB from Razor getting gone on by K1. Weege here as well. They're gonna buy back on a few. This is a good fight still for Midas Club. This is exactly where they can buy back TP in from. But now the BKB has been kited out from Kasable. A huge bushwhack in from Scofield. Plus the split earth from the Leshrac. Can they keep up this fight? Because right now the Leshrac, it feels unscathed entirely. They're K1? running low on resources. The tree toss! The tree toss, yeah. I mean, 40R just took out the one target they needed to. Now they're looking at more. Forced away on Dubai Lama, running it through. They will buy back on K1, and this is the time now that Midas Club decide to back away. Because Analog, he's just going up to their base. He'll get Megas. They need to TP back. He's taking another Can one. Kill Roche. Uh, they're not thinking about it. Radiant finally fortifies the structures. He could get Megas here. They can't do both. You cannot deal with both. Yeah, they finally force one TP back. He blinks away, but on the other side, you are gonna lose some heroes for this. Eco. I don't think it doesn't. It, it doesn't matter. You just kill K1 again. He doesn't have buyback. If, if he mm. die, if he dies, the game's over. No refresher for 95 seconds. The Lord's work on analog to go back and force the TPs away. Without those TPs, we'd be looking at a gyrocopter Aegis. Instead, Aegis now on ABBA. 
Yeah, they need a to feel like they're getting one. something out of this. That's why Analog went there. Almost got the Megas. I think Jerry should buy like a second Raper. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Does he not have money for a Moonshard as well? What's his What's his expendable gold? Check. It's four thousand. Surely he's going to yeah. buy a Moonshard now, right? Oh no! How'd they do it? They just went there. They just went down. But, okay. Yeah, Midas. They They don't have the tacky, so they feel that like they don't have to fight now. They're not afraid of getting mega. Lasso bringing on back Schofield. Gonna get healed up. Yules as well with the Wind Waker. Analog. That means that part of his survivor ability is gone. Gustavo will step forward in the fight. Getting matched up by K1. We'll try to back away for a second because he is silent. Stop popping either a fresher as well. But he's lost so much of his mana. He doesn't have anything else to give now. Behind him are stuns. In front of him are heroes that actually, well, you might not have the tools to defeat anymore. He's got it back into base. He needs to get more mana for himself. Four step forward from Weege. He'll recoup. Okay, they didn't lose anyone. Still think they need the Sight of Vice? Yeah. They definitely need, they like, I feel like both teams, a Scythe would be fantastic for either. The game is, the game is gonna become chaotic now. With the Megas, yeah. Lash always threatening to kill the two cores. This is a big Abba. This is a big tiny. This giant ring. <laughs> it's so funny. Look like a big <laughs> boss. And they don't have Glyph. Hmm. Avalanche? Not gonna do anything just yet. Tiny does have his own rapier. They could put out a lot of damage. Once again, the gyrocopter will step forward, allowing his team to be the damage for them. They're gonna link up two heroes with Weege, but not able to drag them back into the welcoming arms of the gyrocopter. Another stun will connect onto him. He gets <laughs> linked up as well, but a toss up. Maybe they can actually commit on this now. FCR stepping forward. Schofield in danger, could go down, it's the hand of God, it's a lot of heal, but they'll still finally take him down. Nullifier back on to Analog, but K1 is stepping forward, we trying to get something else done, but with the BKB, he's still taking too much damage from K1. SCR will actually stop it for a second, getting the link back in onto my Llama, a huge blast off in from Hiko, they'll take the first life of the ABBA, but can you keep it going? A toss back, no, the toss. Oh, Analog, Analog is gone, Gyrocopter keeps it going, K1 onto the high ground, stunned up by the Tiny, a little Finally pop, they'll force him away, saving Private Abaddon with the Vi Llama. He will okay, live for now. now. Now just breathe. Kill, uh. kill the, the, the Megas. You lost one tier four. The other one almost died. They played so well, but it took them some time. With the blast off, was it was huge. FCR running in as well. They really need one more sort of stun on their team. Mm-hmm. So what are, what are we looking at for my support? So like Batrider, I don't think he can really afford anything else. Whatever he does is his own thing. Tiny or er, Techies yeah, he, he does have the Agnus Scepter. A lot of gold. He does it. Uh, isn't he saving for buyback still? Yeah, he's, he still has buyback, so not a whole lot of excess for him, I'm sure. Definitely not hex excess. I need to go up and deward this stuff. They haven't had a map for a while. Largely because of the Megas, but also because of the wards sitting in their base. 4DR. Hey, that man is pretty large. For an Octarine. 62,000 net worth on the Gyrocopter. Man's built different. Yeah. I think at this point we're getting into uh, maybe buy your, your Tiny uh, a Moon Shard. When is the Roche coming? Oh, still three minutes for us. Mm -hmm. uh, long time. Oh, long time. So, Backrider has 4.4 4 yeah. gold. I think he should farm a Sight of Eyes. 
thirteen hundred. Try to Ontario. go for something like Agonems or Fresher, just have two BKBs. That could be good. Yeah, I think Refresher is more solid. Just because yeah. they have two BKBs and two lassos. Buddy! Time to take Tormentor! It doesn't have shard. Oh, that would be just shard. gold. Yeah. That was rocking the uh, devil rapier, by the way. Yeah, at first one he wasn't damage using the rapier. <laughs> Both for damage. Come on. <laughs> He's hitting hard. He's hitting 1k. Mm hmm. I think we're going for a nullifier on Ava. Uh, pretty decent. I think that's mostly for yeah. the four sass out, maybe even the techies. Yeah, this better rider is just saving Costable with the four staff. Mm. A lot in these fights. They're camping out here on the top side. Still, somehow, we've managed to keep the net worth even for Midas Club. They haven't, uh,. That if you really press Y, you will know why. Is it? I mean, it's surely just the gyrocopter still, right? He's just like up yeah. to like 65,000 net worth or something. The rest of his team is still a little bit behind. Not crazy, but a little bit. I mean, that's damage, but it's not a ton. Uh, techies? Brother? That should not happen. I don't think that should happen. Um, that should not happen. And Abaddon, he has his buyback now available, so yeah. might be go time. Uh, okay, Jara has to get out of here. We are missing some of the saves that are provided by the techies, so if they do run up before he is respond, then uh, you could technically kill... Never mind, he... I mean, we're just missing the Solar Crest, which is still a lot, but Solar Crest and the Lotus are still enough to keep a Jaro alive sometimes. I you mean, need everything. Blast off is the big one. Mm. <laughs> they really need this stun to fight. Saw that. K1 instantly popped Borrowed Time when he was facing the Gyro. Oh, I see. They're sending in the little Necronomicon units to. Force out the Agonim Scepter from the Techies, Minefield sign, which is uh, it's a pretty decent cooldown. Yeah. Yeah, one minute. We're still waiting on Roshan, it looks like. It is going to respawn in two minutes, which at this point, I think it could spawn in 30 seconds, it could spawn in three minutes. Either way, it's going to Heroic. You have to think about how on earth are we winning this game as Midas Club. You're holding, but you're not really getting opportunities to win. So what is the turnaround for you? Because it's always a heroic, complex thing. Heroic aren't going to come up to your high ground without buybacks on their heroes. That's just where at this point of the game, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, you need to like force BKBs first. Mm. Then you force the glyph. Then you kill someone, you make them buy back, then you go again, you force BKBs, and then you kill the hero that bought back. Or just yeah. rat them without glyph. Like, that's the thing, you need to kill everybody with this Aegis. Then you need to go high ground. You somehow need to force the buybacks, but not, like, die when they buy back. Yeah. And then you need to do it again. Like, we're talking about a 15... 20 minute plan for them. Should they win this next fight with Aegis on, I'm assuming, the left track again? He has a lot of lotuses on his backpack and a lot. Is he planning on the cheese? Creating the big lotus? Because Chen the has some cheese. lotuses as well. Look at Chen. Hey. I'm, I'm down for a block of cheese. It's about that time. 
Never I believe one. it is uh, three greater healing lotuses. Yeah. So, he's on his way. Like, halfway there. Chen has any more than Chen if he's able. They just need one more. Oh, no, no, literally, yeah, they need one singular lotus. Oh? Uh. What is this? He wanted to try to get the blink away. Trying to go through the trees. Four staff through. Acorn will once again prevent his blinks. Okay. Call down from Cristable. will stop everything. They First will. First staff complete. Down. Did they force the BKB? Oh, they did force the BKB on Tiny. Mm. Yeah. Now you need to kill the Tiny to force his buyback. Or try to force the Glyph. You can just go Roche. They know the Roche is alive. Chen has creeps inside the pit. Yeah, nice. Simply the next step. 15,000 net worth lead. Heroic have built up something that is up to them to lose. Huge gyrocopter sitting in that base. A gigantic raid boss. And honestly, not a whole lot of enabling items from his team. He really is rocking with the refresher BKB Satanic on his own. Should be using triple rapiers. You think so? Yeah. Just backpack your refresher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a that is a dangerous game. Without having the refresher BKB. But he is like, game one is doing a good job of sending these illusions down on him because Kasabwe has had times where like he's wanted to advance but he couldn't because he didn't have mana for everything. Refresher is 350 mana. You're looking at. Like, 350 there, your two BKBs, which is 100, your Satanic, like, it's... The Diffusal is really doing a lot. Here comes Roshan, it goes down, Aegis getting picked up on Analog, Aghanim Scepter for Schofield, KJ gets a cheese. It's fun all around, fun for the whole family. And the block of cheese is created for Analog. First time I think I've seen it in a real game. And he has a 500 damage barrier that refresh or uh, I believe it's 100 damage per second. <laughs> that it will regen until it's fully broken down. Yeah. I miss the old Chen eggs. Where I could just dispel everyone. That used oh, to yeah, be very good against the lasso. Oh. Yeah, but now it's different. It's that sacrifice creeps thing. Oh. I hear sharpshooter. I hear it. Boo! Gonna jump forward onto my llama. The huge blink in to start. They will still stun up the gyrocopter. He's actually going onto the ancient SK1. They may not be able to stop him here. They're go trying to drag him into the base. Go They're gonna use the nullifier. Yeah, they really want to take it. And gyrocopter says, guys, hold up. Unbelievable. I don't know Again? what to do. So it's, it feels like everyone's crashing. There is a rapier inside the fountain. Yeah, don't drag him in there. You'll give him a rapier. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be the best. <laughs> oh my god. He doesn't have OT now. He has to pop refresher. They don't have Avatars ready. They'll have Ava in two seconds. But that's all. They don't have stuns anymore. Do I have to use Glyph? I think the game might end right here right now. Good. A lot of damage already from the last rack. This they is Lash with Amplified damage. Yeah. I don't think they have a Yules. I mean, you don't have any Dispel right now uh, for these yeah. runes. How many items Analog has? Oh no, Nullifier. Nullifier would Dispel it. But I think they used Nullifier on K1. So yeah, he, he used it. Yeah. So he has to refresh it and nullify the last track, I think. They might be talking about this. To be honest. There it comes. On to K1. He is going to pop that refresher. They're on top of the Ancient. They're going to pop the fortification once. Can you kill him? By the time the fortification is the done, Analog on top of it. A lot of damage here. Still going down. They drop another minefield sign. They're taking the damage. My Lama with the playthrough on top of it. Ripping through. And they'll take the game. Game number one. 77 minutes. 
all finally comes to an end as Heroic go right in onto the Ancient and take this game for themselves. Uh, what? That is game number one, guys. That That is... Oh.